One of the procedures that this model trains is um, VIA, which means that when you swab a cervix with vinegar, then if, it, if there are cancerous lesions or precancerous lesions, they will turn white. We're a group of senior design students that are working on a cervical cancer training kit in conjunction with Rice360 and MD Anderson. So basically our goal is to create a cervical cancer training kit for providers in low resource countries to be able to learn to screen and treat different cervical cancer procedures. More than 85% of cervical cancer deaths occur in low and middle income countries. And the main reason is because they're not able to implement standard of care in these countries. And many times it's also due to the lack of training or available training for providers to learn the standard cervical cancer screening and prevention skills needed in order to screen and provide prevention services for the entire population. So all of these different cervixes can fit into these model holders. And this clips into the back of the model um, right here. And then take the speculum. This would give you a clear shot of the cervix. And then you can adjust the light so you can see right in there. And this is just kind of the general setup for all the different procedures that this model teaches. So another procedure that our um, team has worked on this semester is just doing pap smears. Here in the States, we have the infrastructure for um, performing pap smears, but however, in other countries that this model is used for, um, such as Mozambique and, um, and El Salvador, they might not have the infrastructure to have a pathology lab, uh, which, is why, which, is, which is why it's important that our model can train as many different procedures as possible. I'm super excited about where this project is going. El Salvador is one of those countries that MD Anderson keeps going back to. And when we went with them, it was actually the second time we had gone. And one of the doctors there, like in the time in between visits, had tried to make a model mimicking our own that they could use because they loved it so much. And every workshop that we go to, a lot of them ask if they can keep it. And that's one of our eventual goals. We've already started reaching out to manufacturers to see if we can get it mass produced. So that not only will we be doing workshops, but we'll be taking our models and leaving them there for the doctors we train to keep training other doctors.